This is Stuart Weiler from the Elite Digital Enterprise, part of the Elite Aerospace Group. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to manage a Creo locked license or node locked license. So a node locked license is a license that's going to be assigned to an individual computer, as opposed to a floating license, which is on a server and can then be pulled from any computer that accesses it. Now, if you have a floating license on a server, you can also convert that to a locked license. So for example, if you are going to be unable to access the license server for some amount of time, you can assign a license from the server onto your computer. That way you can continue using Creo without access to that floating license server. To get started, you're going to need to know your host ID. I show how to do that in another video. So feel free to watch that video to see how to do so. And you'll need to assign the license to that host. So this video will show you now, once you've received the license file, how to add that to your Creo application. The license file will come in an email from do not reply at ptc.com. It'll look something like this. And you can see it'll say license pack four, and it'll have your host ID listed, listed there and it'll come with an attachment, either a zip file or a couple of text files. First, you'll wanna save the license files locally. I recommend just putting them on your desktop or in your download folder, just somewhere that you know where you can find them. And then you'll be done with your email. You can close that. Now, you want to browse to that location and unzip it if it is a zip file. In that folder, you'll see two files, lm underscore, one of them is going to say standard, one of them does not. I recommend you're going to want to use the one that does not. It is a text file, so you can open it, you can take a look at it. It'll show the host ID, it'll have the end date when the license will stop working, and the various modules that it will enable. Next, you're going to want to run the reconfigure tool. So to do that, go to C, Program Files, PTC, and then choose the version of Creo that you are going to be setting up the license for. I'll use Creo 7 for that. Then use the folder Parametric and bin. Within that is a tool called reconfigure. When the reconfigure tool opens, click on next. And then when you get to the license page, you can see I currently have a license server set up. You can also add an additional license or replace it. If I want to remove it, click on the minus sign. And then to add a new license source, click on the plus sign. Or if you don't already have something added, and I'll subtract this so you can see, when you don't have anything, you have a browse button. Click on browse. And I saved my file to my desktop, so I'll go to desktop license, and there is the file. Just click on open, and you can see it'll choose that in the source. Now I'm using a license file that's actually assigned to our license server, which is why it says host ID is invalid. If you have a file that is assigned to the correct host ID, and you can see my host ID is listed here, then it will say available, and now you're ready to go. Thank you.